Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center, and today we're taking a look at some of our favorite case knives of all time. Let's check them out. When it comes to classic American pocket knives, there's no company out there more closely tied with this tradition than Case Knives. They're primarily known for their non-locking slip joint pocket knives, but they also make modern folders and even fixed blades as well. But today we're going to focus on their best folding knives, and we'll show you a few of their classic patterns to illustrate. One thing you'll quickly see is that each of their patterns is available with a wide variety of different handle materials and embellishments, and you'll see some of the highlights as we go through the models. This variety not only makes them fun to collect, but case knives make great affordable user knives too, and with such a breadth of options it's easy to find one perfectly suited to your preferences. Most of their pocket knives use their proprietary True Sharp stainless steel, but a few can still be had in CV or chrome vanadium steel for those who like a traditional carbon steel blade. We'll start small with the Peanut, a knife with a special place in the hearts of many. This knife may seem tiny, and it certainly is, but with a small clip point blade and an even smaller pen blade, it's still capable enough to get most people through the day with ease. This model has a nice half stop in the travel of the blade which is one of those nice features that not all traditional pocket knives have, and even among case knives, it's a nice standout. The material on this knife is smooth chestnut bone, and as with any natural material, each one is going to look a little bit different, and that's all the better for collecting or even just knowing you have a knife that's uniquely yours and unlike any other one out there. Next up is the Barlow, which was typically a very blue collar option for working folk, but nowadays they've become highly collectible and they're subject to just as many fancy variants as anything else. They typically have either one or two blades, and they come with an oversized bolster at the folding end of the simply shaped handle. Traditionally, this was to impart enough strength to the knife, even if the handle material was not of the highest quality, but today, it simply makes for a stunning look, and it's a great place for engravers to really show off their work. This version features wood handles, gorgeous curly maple with a nice turquoise die. The blades on this model also feature half stops. And this one also features a secondary pen blade, although not all Case Barlows are fitted with this one. The main blade is a clip point, although they can also be equipped with a spear point blade. Now for the three blade Stockman model, shown here in one of Case's classic materials, Jigged Amber Bone. The Stockman is a versatile pattern that's great for EDC, wood carving, and even for small game or farming. The main clip point blade is an all around workhorse and a secondary sheep's foot blade is great for scoring or for aggressive cuts when you don't want the tip to slip out. And the small spay blade on the other side was traditionally used for cattle castration with a tip that was designed to resist puncturing. Case offers several sizes of Stockman so you have plenty of options to suit your desires. What's great about having three whole blades on your pocket knife is you can set them up for different uses and you know you're always going to have a razor sharp edge when you need it. Next up is the Trapper, and as the name suggests, it's a pattern that's useful for small game and hunting needs. This pattern features two blades of roughly equal size that open from the same end, typically a clip point and a spay blade. The same qualities that make the spay blade great for ranchers means that it's ideally suited for efficient skinning because that tip is not going to dig in and you'll be able to get long sweeping cuts with ease. But especially with the longer length on the Trapper pattern, the spay blade makes a great option for rescue operations. If you ever need to cut yourself or someone else out of a seat belt or remove clothing from around an injury, the blunt tip can help avoid any accidental secondary injuries. Available in several different handle variations, this knife features a yellow synthetic material, and it's a shade that's become quite famous over the years, and not just with Case, but other manufacturers too. In addition to these great slip joints, Case have also branched out over the years into locking models. The Copper Lock series is perhaps the most famous, available in a few different sizes with a solid mid-mounted lockback. This standard sized Copper Lock features fence row jigged olive green bone. And I didn't mention this earlier, but if you don't like the feel of the smooth versions, jigging patterns go a long way to adding grip to the knife, especially with a style as deep as we can see on this Copper Lock. The clip point blades on these knives are quite useful, and they open nicely thanks to the long pull that runs the length of the straight spine. If you like the way a classic pocket knife looks but want the added safety of a lock, then the Copper Lock is going to be a great choice. In addition to honoring their heritage, Case have also been looking to the future with new opening mechanisms, and to that end, they've introduced the Kickstart series, essentially classic patterns now equipped with a pocket clip and an assisted opening mechanism. This Trapper Lock pops open nicely with one hand while still maintaining that classic Case look, and it even has a liner lock to help keep things secure. 
Another way of blending the old and the new, this model features synthetic material that's been jigged to emulate the look and texture of the bone versions. They have a couple of models out right now equipped with this kickstart opener, but we expect to see even more in the future. If you want something even more modern from Case, then check out these two knives, the Shark Tooth Flipper and their collaborations with Southern Grind, the CG01 series. Both feature crisp manual flipping action, aluminum handles, and a stonewashed S35 VN blade. The Shark Tooth blade features a nice acute tip, and that's going to be great for smaller cuts where intricate detail is needed, as well as for piercing. It also has G10 inlays, a liner lock to keep things secure, and it has a really nice feel in the hand. It's quite light and it's going to be easy to carry with you every day. The CG01 knives can be had either with Tonto or drop point blades. Their frame lock is very sturdy and I'm really impressed by the colored finish. It looks great and it feels very durable. These are just the first of what we expect will be many modern flippers from Case. We love their slip joints but we're glad to see them branching out at the same time. When it comes to American made pocket knives that are great for collecting or using, it's hard to beat a Case knife. From their affordably priced offerings all the way up to their premium collaborations with Tony Bowes, there's something in their lineup for everyone. To get your hands on one of these or any of the other great case knives that are out there, click the link in the description below to head over to KnifeCenter.com.